Hey guys, it's Pete Williams here from Element Drum Tuition. Been a while since I uploaded my last video, but I wanted to give you a bit of insight into what I've been working on lately. So I decided to tackle a couple of my, uh, my weaker points. So I tried to hit a few things at once here. So the first one is doing like a basic kind of blues shuffle, not something I play a lot. And as well as, as, well as practicing that, I wanted to develop my, um, my skill with my left hand and left foot. So I'm gonna do a, a series of five short videos for you, each one kind of building off on the last. Um, relating to a kind of a blue shuffle and focusing on the, the snare drum with the left hand and the hi-hat. So in the first video, we're just going to look at adding an upbeat eighth note to the hi-hat. So this is a bit different to playing your standard kind of quarter note pattern as we're going to be playing on, on the ands of swung eights. So let's just take a listen to how that whole thing sounds first. Okay, so now we've heard how that sounds, let's break down what's happening. So the right hand pattern, very simple, that's just a, a swung eighth note pattern. So the right pattern is one and two and three and four and. Uh, simple on the bass and snare as well, we've got a bass drum on one and three, snare on two and four. And over on the hi-hat, this is the tricky bit, we're going to play on all the upbeat eighth notes, so all the ands. So if I do the swung eighth count and then clap where the hi-hat's going to go, you get one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Uh, I'm gonna bring this in one at a time in the next sequence. So I'm gonna start with just the right hand on the ride, then bring in the hi-hat on the upbeat eighths, then bring in the bass drum on one and three, and then the snare on two and four, so you can see it being built up. Let's have a listen to that now. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. Now it's quite a subtle element that we're bringing into the shuffle there, but I think it does help give the shuffle a nice bouncy feel and it's also a challenging coordination exercise playing the hi-hat on upbeat eighth notes. Uh, there's gonna be four more parts to this series and in the next four parts, we're gonna be developing what the left hand does, looking at our accenting there and our Moella motion, which is gonna be kind of interesting and help add to the, the overall feel. Uh, if you liked the video, please press the like button and subscribe for future content and I'll catch you next time.